What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power we'll Play with CJ. Uh, I've talked about Nashville a lot, um, you know, rightly so. They got the best record in the NHL. And when, you're, when you're playing good hockey, you deserve to be talked about more than your average team, plain and simple. But uh, my guy, Colin Wilson, BU. I remember watching him play at BU when he was, um, you know, freshman, sophomore. You know, sophomore year, they won the national championship. And before Eichel showed up, he was the best player I saw play at BU. Now, the best college hockey player I'd ever seen before Eichel was Johnny Goudreau. And for what it's worth, Eichel is a combination of Wilson and Goudreau, bottom line. Um, but, you know, he's having a fantastic year for Nashville. 30 points in 40 games. He's five points off his career high. And, uh, you know, he's really playing some fantastic hockey for Peter Laviolette and those boys. Um, you know, it took a little while from the round out his offensive game, you know, after being uh, the seventh or eighth pick in the draft. But, you know, he's come up and he, he's coming up bases for this team. He's third in the team in scoring, really giving them some good punch on the second line. And, uh, you know, I, I used to love watching him take the puck to the net with authority, uh, really work the boards as well as any player in college hockey um, I'd ever seen uh, when he's at when he's at BU. And, um, you know, it's funny, I was there, and he scored his first NHL goal against the Bruins in Boston. I was there. Uh, it, was 20, it was his 20th birthday, which I think was October. Let me check this thing right here. Because um, I, I just want to prove myself right because I'm not much of a narcissist. October 20th, 2009, which is when he scored his first goal. Look it up. Um, but, you know, he's really been a fantastic, you know, part of that team. Uh, you look at how well, of an, how good of an all-around player he is, you know, and how well he's able to, to play in all situations. He's plus 21 on the season, second on the team behind the great rookie, Philip Forsberg. And, you know, because he's doing it, because Forsberg, James Neal, and Ribeiro, those guys have really stepped up, uh, Wilson's able to contribute in the second line and, you know, give that team, uh, you know, a little bit of everything um, in that capacity. And, you know, you, you can't help but marvel, you know, how good of a player he, he's been this season. You know, I've been a fan of his. Uh, he was a freshman at BU in 2007, so for, for seven or eight years. And, um, you know, you look at what he did with Team US, what he's done with Team USA internationally, and, uh, you know, just the way he's able to, um, you know, play and play at a high level um, consistently is, um, you know, something you'll love to see. Because, uh, again, he was a fantastic college hockey player. He was, you know, Gilroy won the Hobie Baker that year from BU. He was their best player. Wilson was that. Anyone that watched that team play, I think I probably watched that team play in person 10 times that year, and he was the best player in the ice every single time. And, uh, you know, it's good to see him, you know, coming up basis for the uh, the Nashville Predators. You know, he, he wanted to get drafted by Nashville. He said that, you know, he's a huge country music fan, and, uh, you know, he's been in a great situation. And Peter Laviolette's brought out the best in him. You know, I'm not knocking Barry Trotz right now. I'd never do that. You know, I'd never make it a Barry Trotz roast, but. At the same time, you look at the way he's playing, the way other guys have really stepped their games up this season, and you know you'd be foolish to suggest anyone but Peter Laviolette when they go to the year. So, bottom line, to quote the great American Stephen A. Smith, Colin Wilson is a bad man. Anyway, that's like sort of the power play with CJ on Colin Wilson's success this season. Stay tuned for episodes of the season and beyond. Later, guys.